Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Nessa Porter back at you again. Today we're going to be cutting a key on a key machine. So this is the way I do it. I put I put the bar right there. I slide the key in. I'm trying to do this one-handed. So I slide the key in to it stops on that bar. And I tighten it down. It's like that. So I tighten it nice and tight. So my key is flat. Flat in there. Now these keys are supposed to be actually cut or put on the stamp machine. These these are like arrow keys, which is a a cousin or brother to Bess. So this is the key machine I'm using. The HD key cut machine. They do have the automatic ones too. This is more of a a manual cut. So I take this same same blank, got a blank blank box right there of keys. Um, make sure the keys facing in the same direction, upright like that. Same grooves. Stick it in the same side over here, and tighten it down. And once it's tightened in there, it's in there. Now some people put this this little bar. I'm gonna see if I can lift it up and show you what I'm talking about. There's two ways you can use this bar. You can use it the way I'm using it now. Or you can use it on top of the key right here. Now if it's on top of the key, this one should be on top of the key too. See that? It's supposed to be... That's like the key stop to keep the key from going any further. Now theoretically, if these... These machines should be calibrated every so often too because they do get out of whack. So, if that is tight against the fence, and that's tight against the fence, and I'm assuming it's, it looks pretty good. And I did it both ways. I did it that side at the base. And I did it up here, and they both seem like they're, they're both online. So, a lot of people do it like this. They use that as a stop. Some people use the back fence of, depending on what kind of key you're using too. The key has it looks like a um, give an example. If it looks like a, a like a, a sledge key, for example, sledge key. See how the sledge key has that little stop right there where my finger is. That little stop can go against your your your, your base, but this key doesn't really have that that stop. At it. it doesn't have that little bottom like tail at the bottom of the key, so you can't use that. But if you have that little stop, like this little. The keys we have here, like the, even this postmaster key here, it has see how it has that little stop right there, so it looks like, like a little wing. That little wing right there will rest against the back of this, will, will give you your guide. So, because we don't have that, we're using this as our guide. Now, there's other ways of doing it. So, I sometimes I put a if I give an example, sometimes I put a key against this little fence right here. And that is, that'll give you my guide too. That little slot. The camera's not doing it justice. But see this little slot right here. I put the key right there. And press it against the key like that. See over here. Press this one against there. That I know it's exactly. So we could do that too. We can we put the camera down and see if I can readjust it doing it that way. And see if the key comes out the same same form. It's kind of hard to do this while holding the camera, but let's see what you can do here. Give me one second, guys. Just going to open it up. Put the stop with the key. Tighten it back up. Same thing over here. Push it back up. Tighten it back up. And we still pretty much did the same thing because we you get that little stop there. So we still got the key in the stop. Now we're gonna we're just gonna cut the key. You gonna see that? And these two lines up the same. There's, there's no there's no wrong way of doing it as long as the key cuts the same. So I'm I'm gonna cut this key. Always make sure you have safety goggles on when you do this because these metal filings will fly. So let's go. We're gonna see how this key cuts. I'm gonna stop it. I'm stopping here. Stop from the beginning. I'm trying to do this one handed, so it's kind of tough. So.
sure you did it the right way. So you want to just do another run just to make sure you didn't miss any spots. Nice and that's the cutting wheel right there. So I want to make sure that thing goes in there nice and easy. That's all out. Take out the key out of here. Out of this one. And on the side is a little brush, like wire brush. Just put your key in there. Almost, almost at a 45 degree angle. Just throw the birds off. Do the front side. Do the other side. Just like that. Get all the birds off. Now, shut the thing off and you should have a perfectly cut key. Look like it's, it's cut. Looks like the same key that's in there. And one way to find out is to try it in the lock. But always remember, the key that you're using as the guide always goes on this edge here. Some people make the mistake and put the original key on this side and you put the original key over here you will damage the original key and you have to make a new key either by pinning it with the tumblers taking the tumblers out doing it that way or just making a new key from scratch which could be a pain in the neck so we're gonna go try this key out and see what happens um, I don't have a lock close by to use this key so let me see if I can find a, uh, a cylinder that we're going to. Let's see. 